Hello everyone, welcome to Developers and Coders Club of NIT Agatla. Now we are going to solve another problem with the name of array and this is come in the code forces round hashtag 181 division 2 problem. Right, I hope all of you read the problem and in this question we have to divide the given array into three parts and the condition is that the production for first uh, array is less than zero and second is greater than zero and third is equal to zero this is a very basic and fundamental question very basic question and i hope all of you did the sol did the solution right let us how will you do now in this question you simply divide means you will you have to part in you have to divide it in three parts then and first it's negative then you can simply say first your negative then second is positive and third your zero right and you will simply make an array and shift all the negative elements with the name of array simply negative array positive array and zero array you simply push your uh, negative elements in negative array and positive elements in positive and zero and it is also mentioned here that the solution it is guaranteed that solution is al always exists so for that you can think that in this way like two negative elements can make positive elements but two positive elements can't make negative elements so here one condition you can think is that negative positive array has zero size but not negative always but not negative elements because there will be always one negative element present right so in this way you can simply uh, if and for negative element there will be this condition for positive and for negative element negative array you can think if all the negative means negative array have size means n let us suppose negative array have size n if n is even means all the negative elements then there will be no possibility of uh, the multiplication of this negative elements array will be equal to negative because if you can simply like if your elements minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 means n is equal to 4 I take n is equal to 4 if you multiply all these elements this will be positive right so your n always odd right these are the two conditions you are going with and if what you are going to do for the solution if you these are these are the things right these are two conditions for positive array and thing and how we will means how we are going to solve this question these are the main problems in this question for positive array has zero size then you can you can what you can do you can take two negative elements and put it into a positive array put it into positive array how if you have minus one minus two minus three then you simply take two el two elements and put it into positive array because if you give minus one minus two then this will make positive right for this case positive array has zero and if not zero then there will be no problem because there will always be a positive elements present and if this condition is true say negative array have size n if n is equal to even then what you do what will you do you simply put a last element into zeroth element because if you zero will multiply with 
any number will give you always zero if you if you send some element if you send element negative element in the zeroth array then there will be no effect because the in the end your multiplication should be equal to zero must be equal to zero so do if your n is even to make it odd to make it odd you simply send your last element into positive into your last element into zero array right right these are the two main conditions you have to focus so let's go on the code right we simply make vector int a of 3 means thin array we created three arrays mm -hmm. a1 a right and took the values as an as input given to us n1 n2 n3 simply and now we created if a of 0 dot pushback for positive sorry for negative element a of 1 is equal to positive and a of 2 for 0's element if x is less than 0 a 0 dot pushback x if x is greater than 0 means positive element will go in the a1 and 0 then 0 means particular 0 element will give will go into the a2 now think if a1 dot size is equal to 0 i already said if your positive array is equal to size of that positive array equal to 0 then what you are going to do you will take two elements of negative array and put it into the positive array like you take two elements for that you run a loop with two times and a1 dot pushback a0 dot back and a0 and you, one thing you remember you have to delete from the negative array also because if you simply write only one condition a1 dot pushback a0 dot back this will not delete this will copy the element so you simply a0 dot pop back you have to do every time and for even element for negative if the negative array have even size has negative size so what you do you simply do take one element from negative array and go put it into the zero array a zero dot and don't forget to delete the element from the negative array a zero dot pop back now you print simply for int is equal to like very simple question is this thank you everyone